Merci beaucoup. Good day, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you're having a great day today. Uh, this Saturday, uh, just enjoying my time here. Um, thank you so much for being a fan. Today, I just want us to talk about one other ingredient that makes all the difference for you to succeed in anything you do and everything that you do. And that ingredient is courage. <clears throat> in fact, why the reason why most people don't make it in life or don't make it in um, you know whatever it is that they want to do is because they are fearful the fear of unknown the fear of not knowing what to expect on the other side of life the fear of not knowing whether you will succeed if you try something the fear of leaving your comfort zone the fear of leaving the only thing that you know works which may not be working actually so I just want to encourage us uh, this day that um, let us embrace courage courage is the ability to face your fears and know that they are there in your doubts and still take the necessary steps that you need to towards achieving that goal that you are setting for yourself. Courage is not the absence of fear. It is actually the action against the fear. So my guys, um, let me give you an example of, of like how many people? Let me give you an example of like um, five people, five African uh, rich and uh, uh, probably most impactful um, individuals whom I look up to who have demonstrated courage like you've never seen before in fact every time I feel fearful I just listen to some of their comments and and see what they have been able to do and I'm inspired to go to take the next step number one would be Wangari Mathai you all know our icon Wangari Mathai this woman was so courageous. She fought uh, for the, you know, for the forest in this country in Kenya, so much so that she even had her hair pulled out by the forces. B. Then she was like, so courageous, and even when she formed the Green Belt Movement, it became like it was like it was against the government. Yes, she was con so convicted and convinced. Uh, in her path towards uh, making sure that our environment is, uh, is is sustained and finally I can actually say she succeeded even to a point of being um, you know nominated and, uh, and, and, and announced as a, a Nobel Peace, uh, I think Nobel something women, she was given a Nobel Prize I can't remember the name, but she was given that is one of my inspiration as in you can move on with uh, towards something to achieve something and you don't fear and you don't turn back the next person i want to talk to you about that demonstrated courage to the level i've never seen before actually is a guy known as strive masiwa strive masiwa is um zimbabwean born uh, entrepreneur he's the owner of econet i know all of you know econet and in kenya he has a business called liquid telecom um he he has very many uh, companies that operate in the telecom in the in the, tel, in the telco industry in Africa this guy fought the Ugandan uh, not the Ugandan brother but the Zimbabwean government for five years trying to get a license to do mobile to do mobile phones to do mobile phones in Zimbabwe for five years he was kidnapped he was uh, you know he was intimidated that was the time from Mugabe, but he fought until he won that case. He's an epitome of courage. He's so courageous. If you want to learn more about him, just go and read the book that is called um, Ways of Becoming a Millionaire, of, of, of growing a, a, a multi-billion 
uh, company in Africa, multi-billion dollar company in Africa. It's called something like that. Go and read it. I'll get it for you on the comments below or on the chat below. The other guy I want to talk to you about is, of course, my namesake, Nelson Mandela. Um, the guy who was jailed for 27 years fighting for the liberation of the country from apartheid, South Africa. Another epitome of courage. As in he... <laughs> I don't even think I can even do it myself. 27 years of the young life. It's taken away because you are fighting over something. A country, wow, well, that's, that's just courage. And then I want to talk to you about uh, another guy who also demonstrated a lot of courage in his businesses. And that is the richest man in Africa. His name is God Aliko Dangote. He is Nigerian born and the owner of the Dangote group of companies um, the man has faced all kinds of hurdles towards growing his business including Kenya where he was denied a license to operate his cement factory in Nigeria where he was supposed to do so many things uh, you know to appease the, um, uh, the forces be there but yet he has faced all those and he has succeeded in whatever that he does Anyway, these are just examples of people who have uh, shown courage. In fact, I want to give you a bonus one, one, a Kenyan one, Lupita Nyong'o. She has managed so courageously to go against the trends that are in the entertainment industry. Despite her beautiful black color, what we are used on the screens is a different kind of a color. Yet, he has, she has managed to fight through all that and come out on top and become one of the best actors in the world. So with courage, you can achieve anything. And I want to encourage all of us, do not be afraid. Do not fear. If you are convinced there is something that you need to do, get your feet off the, you know, it's called the water trough. And work towards your goal and you will succeed. Uh, that is my time for today. My name is Gishure Irungu. Please subscribe to this channel if you have not done so yet. And if you can share, please share and like this video. Otherwise, thank you so much. Enjoy your time. Adios. See you. God bless you. Bye.